Psalms 4 3 said, He separates the godly for Himself. And the Lord will hear when I call. Psalms 4 3. I'm going to say it again. He separates the godly for Himself. God says, I have brought you into a season of separation, and I will also in the future bring you into times and the seasons where I separate you. For there's some in your life and even in your ministry at this point, you will turn that music down. God said, I have separated you in the past, even from some, for a season. And some people in our life are like scaffolding. It's put up when one story, one level is being built. And then it's removed. And sometimes that's what God does in certain seasons of our life. Because He's the God that changes seasons and times. Daniel 2 21. And God said, Psalms 4 3 He did. He separates the God before Himself. And God says, I have brought you through seasons of separation in the past, and I've separated you from things, places, even persons. And God says, This will happen again. The Lord said, I'll do this, I'll do some more of this. But it's my will. Just surrender to it, for God says, I've already begun to deal with you with some of that. Hallelujah. But there'll even come more that you're not even aware of right now. Hallelujah. And it'll be strange to you at first. But God says, no, that this is me telling you tonight before it happens or even before it can come, that this is part of the process that I will use. Hallelujah. For God says, I want to do a fresh thing. I want to do a new thing. I don't want to just do a repeated thing. Hallelujah. I don't want to pattern what it is I have for you to do in my kingdom just after what somebody else has did. Hallelujah. So there will be times where it seems like you're alone. Hallelujah. Like Jacob did when he wrestled with me. Hold up, I cover the best side. But don't let me go because I'm going to give. I am going to release an anointment that you could not even imagine at this moment. But it'll be through those times where it seems like you're left alone. Where I separate you. And even it appears that I've isolated you. For even you've heard this night that John on the Isle of Patmos, he was left there. He was even left for dead, but it was there that I gave him a vision of me of what I would do in this end time and in this earth and how I I would reveal myself coming in the clouds uh, to catch away my people. And thus says the Lord, uh, I kept John in the backside of a desert eating locusts and wild honey and it was there that he was hearing my word. Uh, sometimes, my son, I keep you in deserts. Uh, I keep you in places of obscurity. I keep you from others and I keep you away uh, but so you can hear what it is I want to say in the earth. Uh, and so what you're hearing won't be tainted with what the Spirit is saying and the flesh won't be able to interject into it. Uh, be in those places and don't be discomforted. Remember this word that I'm going to separate you for this reason and for these end times and for what it is I'm about to do in the earth and what I am calling you to do in this earth at this time. Holy Ghost, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. The people of God said amen. Amen. Remember, there's always provision for the vision. Somebody say pro the vision and there'll be provision stay pro for the vision <laughs> amen stay pro vision and God will give provision amen he'll finance the dream even if he has to make Pharaoh pay for it come on come on now the Lord says in the next probably six months God's going to send you a few Pharaohs there's a few Pharaohs that's going to come give Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Who are Pharaohs? They're not of the kingdom. <laughs> They're the actual enemy. God will make your enemies. Come on. Support the dream when it's his. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We love you. Thank you for asking us to come tonight. Somebody's thinking, my God, I went to church in one service and had a seven night revival. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you. Jesus. I'm, I'm just going to ask. Anybody need some prayer? Hallelujah. Thank you for the Lord. Anybody yes. need some yes. prayer before we dismiss? Thank you. I can Jesus. always use prayer. Can I? Brother Mark. Yes, sir, brother.
Let's pray for sisters. Amen. Praise God. Anybody else? Come on up here, sister. Come on, Ashley. Am I watching an end of the Come on, video? We can record, but I don't have to take his little fly feet off. Okay. Let's get him and have Facebook and blog. Thank you. Be confident in this one thing. He began a good work in you. Shall perform it to the day of his son Jesus. Philippians 1 6. What God starts, he finishes. Amen. First Samuel 3 12. God told Samuel, a young prophet, he said, What I begin to do, I will finish. Have you lift your hands high. For God says, I will finish what I've begun in you, and it is a good work. It is a good work. It's a good work that I've started in you. Sometimes you look and you even compare, amen, the work that he's doing now to where somebody else is. But God says, don't compare yourself with others. That'll make you a fool. Amen. According to 1 Corinthians 10, 12. Hallelujah. God said, the work is good. I want you to say that. This work is good that he's doing in me. And he's going to finish it. And that's why you're going to overcome everything. That's why you're going to outlast the enemy. Job 42, 16. Job 42 and 16 said, after this, Job lived. I want you to say that. After this, Job lived. That's Job 42, verse 16. Job outlived everything he suffered and everything he lost and everything he went through. His wife told him to curse God and die. But he told her, you speak like a foolish woman in Job. Amen. Chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. She told him, won't you just end your life as a last insult to God and a disgrace to God and bow your fist up at God and take your own life. And he said, you talk like a foolish woman. I came naked into this world and naked shall I return thither. I'm going to worship the Lord. I'm going to live for him. And Job said in Job 27 and 6, my righteousness I'll hold fast and I will not let it go. My daughter quoted it earlier, Psalms 118, 17, you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. God says you will outlive this, you will outlast this, and that thing that tries to come on you and dominate you and tell you what's the use to even try anymore, why should I even keep going on? Why should I even think to live another day? I declare to you, you will outlive this, you will outlast this in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's life after this. Somebody say, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Praise God. It's a good work. It's a good work. It's a good work, and he's going to do it. He's going to finish it. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, we thank you for your lady. You're an only daughter. And we just speak your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch your daughter this night. Song of Solomon 8 and 5 says, who is this? Coming up from the wilderness, leaning on her beloved. Leaning on her beloved. Up from the wilderness. Hallelujah. Lord, I quote Song of Psalm 8 and 5 because I believe that's what you're saying. I know it is. Up from the wilderness. God says, daughter, keep leaning on me. Keep trusting in me. For I will bring you up from the wilderness. I won't bring you from this wilderness to elevate you or bring you up because I excavate before I elevate. How do I sound to be I always dig down. I always go down before I build up. And God says you've been in this wilderness so I might build you up. And when I get through building what I'm building, I will bring you out. I will cause you to come out of the wilderness and you'll come out up. And when you come, they'll say, who is this? Who is this? She went in looking one way but when she came out, she looked different. There was something different. I'm telling you, just hold on a little while longer. Amen. When he brings you out, you'll be up. Up from this wilderness. And the key is lean on him, leaning on your head. Hallelujah. Jesus, they keep leaning on it. You'll come out of it. And when you come out of it, you won't come out the way you came into it. You won't come out with the level you came into it. You'll come up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody say up and out. A lot of times we want God to get us out so we get up. No, God says, if I can teach you how to get up, get up. when you're in it, then I can trust you to take you out of it. That's right. So I say, up and out. Praise God. Let your hands sister. Holy Ghost, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Heal me, I'll be healed. Save me, I'll be saved. Jeremiah 17, 14.
Amen. God said this that you have struggled with in your body for so long that's attacked your health. Amen. That you just stress over all the time. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost right now is coming on you. I thank you, God. This is sweet. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. For by his stripes we are healed. First Peter 2 24. Hallelujah. We command it to go to the pit. Go from this place. Don't you touch another. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You're also one of those you feel defeated so many times every day of your life. Like, what's the use? Even the word that was to the other sister, it's to you. Something leaked inside of you. You know how when Mary came in the presence of Elizabeth the lukewarm and Mary was pregnant with Jesus? Baby John inside of Elizabeth leaped and jumped in the Holy Ghost when she heard the salutation of Mary. When God was prophesying to this sister back here that she would outlive it, hallelujah, it was a good work. Something inside of you leaked in the womb of your spirit. That was your word too. I declare you will outlast. You will outlive this in Jesus' name. Holy. Holy. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Thank you. Holy, holy, holy. Phew. My Lord. My Lord. My presence will go with you and you'll have rest. Exodus 33, 14. My daughter pulled that in here. God wants you to rest in him tonight. Get your hands. Now close your hands when you lift it. Job 37 and 7 said, When man's hands are sealed, he'll make all men to know his work. God said, I just need you to relax and rest in me. As faithful as he that called you, he'll also do it. First Thessalonians 5 24. You struggle sometimes over the call. I don't know my son of that by. And you worry about if you add up or if, if you amount to what it is that's needed. And sometimes you don't even feel like you're worthy enough to have that. But God says, I have anointed you and I have called you. Now stand in that that I've called you and I'll do what it is I said I'll do. I just need you to take a rest in me. Hallelujah. For Jesus told a parable. Hallelujah. In St. Mark chapter 4. And he talked about how a farmer goes out and he plants his seed after he kills the ground. And he covers it over and he, he fertilizes. He dungs it. He, he, you know, he waters it. He does all he can. But then he goes home and he goes to bed. And in the morning he rises up. Uh, and it's sprouting and he knows not how. Hallelujah. And God says just like that. I need you, amen, to take what it is I gave you. Now plant it, uh, till it, do all you know to do. Uh, but then afterwards, I need you to rest. I need you to go to sleep because uh, I'll make it grow. That ain't your responsibility. It's mine yeah. to make it grow. Just like Peter had to go to sleep before I gave him a jailbreak in Acts 12. Uh, God says, I'll give you breakthroughs. Uh, amen. Yeah. When you learn how to just sleep with me. Yeah. Just rest with me a while. Uh, amen. Uh, yeah. Holy Ghost. What's good? We just went to sleep. Holy Ghost. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. Your Lord, make me the good and safety songs for me. Holy Ghost, I will my son and make you die. You will my son. Bye. Hallelujah. Now close your hands too. I'm going to put it through Job 37 and 7. When man's hands are sealed, then I make all men to know my work. God brings us purposely to places where our hands are shut, that our hands can't do nothing else. They did all they know to do. It's then that God says, I'll show you what you couldn't do, I will do. God says there's stuff right now that this describes your life. Hey man, that you don't know what else to do. Your hands are tired. They're shut. They've done all they know to do. And you don't know what else to do. God says, hear what you do. Just be still and know I'm God. Psalms 46 and verses 10. I'm about to open my hand and do what yours can. Hallelujah. Lord, touch your daughter tonight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. You did not summon me to the corner of the Holy Ghost, I thank you right now. Touch your daughter for your glory. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy. My daughter was preaching tonight. She said, just breathe. It was right there he is. You remember that? Hallelujah. Job 27, 3. He said, all the while my breath was within me, the spirit of the Lord's in my nostrils. Some people just heard that and thought, boy, that was just a good little saying. No, that scripture. Job said, while I'm, the Lord's in my nostrils. Do that. You're already doing it in here. That's one thing, by the way, a preacher can tell everybody to do, they all have to obey or they're going to die. <laughs> See, there he is. That's how close he is. 
You've oh. wandered at his want and you've wondered God when and where and how. When, God, how, where. God says, daughter, I'm just that close. Keep your faith in me and I'll do what I say. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody's been having elevated blood pressure issues over and over. It's like you just can't get it where it's supposed to be. And you just keep having trouble with that. The Lord says, come and let me lay hands on you. Come, come quickly. It's a, been a struggle. You, it's, by the time you think you got it where it needs to be, then something else. It's just, it's, you have an issue with it. I'll wait on you while we pray for others. Come here, brother. Hallelujah, God. I thank you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Mm, Psalms, Psalms 81 and 6 said he removed my shoulder from the burden. Lord, I think it's being removed. What you've been carrying. The doors in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Been, it's, been a, it's, been the, it's been with your blood pressure. It's going to be the last time I say it. Hallelujah. God, I pray for anybody to be watching this. We're not live right now because... I love Jesus culture and Walker Smith, but even though I got a live streaming license Facebook, oh boy, he tries to block me with certain artists. If they're seeing, I've been through it. With Jesus, the Holy Ghost, I thank you. Thank you, King Jesus. And this is powerful. Revelation 4.11 God says, I've created all things for my pleasure. They are and were created. Somebody say, I was made by God for God. And the Lord just told me to quote that scripture and lay my left hand on you and say, You're mine, says the Lord. You're mine. Don't you ever doubt it. You belong to me. You were made by me. Oh. Holy Ghost, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Job, not Job. Nahum 1 3, the Lord says, I'll have my way in the whirlwind and in the storm. Somebody say that with me. The Lord, the Lord will have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. The storm ain't going to have its way. I mean, I, it's like the Lord just, and when I say I seen, I don't know, I don't know no other way to say it than I seen it, but it's just one spinning thing after another, right? A cycle. By the time you think you're getting out of one, here comes something else hitting you. But God says, daughter, I'm going to have my way in it. And tonight you're about to know that I am the eye of this storm. That I'm right in the middle with you. Because you're about to rest while the rains and winds blow. I'm about to give you a rest. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the church said amen. Touch it all tonight. You agree right now, Jesus, my name. Proverbs 11 21 says, The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Isaiah 49 25 said, I'll fight with him that fights with you, and I'll save your children. The seed, the children of the righteous are going to be delivered. Proverbs 11 and 21. Holy Ghost. Jesus interrupted a woman's funeral procession as she was going to bury her child, and he took the buyer of the open casket and raised her son back to life again. Raised her child back to life again in Luke chapter 7. God says, Daughter, I am about to move, and I am about to rescue the seed. I am going to save 
that I'm going to sanctify, I'm going to cleanse them, I'm going to set them free. In the mighty name of Jesus, and just like I told Jairus, when the news came, it's too late, don't trouble the master. What did I say? Fear not and only believe. And the Lord would say to you, don't be afraid, even though it's got worse. And though the enemy has rose up like in no other time, God says, no, this night, daughter, hallelujah, I'm on my way to your house. I started on my way to your seed, into your home and your house, and I'm still on my way, and I'm going to finish what I started. Hallelujah. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be saved, you and your house. Acts 16, 31. Amen. My Lord. God be the glory. God be the praise. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise God. Holy Ghost, touch the man of God's wife. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just Michelle, God says, yes, I've called you alongside of your husband. I've also given you a ministry. I've also gave you a calling. God says it's the dark places. You remember the old school photography back in the day, you know, before we got all this advanced stuff. You know, I mean, even your phone you tote around and talk and text with is as a, as a level of technology that people back in the day you had to go pay to get your picture took. They didn't even have it. But you remember the old school when they would take a snapshot and a pic of a scene and it had to put it in a dark room for it to develop? Hallelujah. God said the dark places you've had to walk through in the dark times have been nothing for that that I'm using to develop the portrait that I gave you a quick snapshot of. God said I gave you quick snapshots in the past. Even as a young girl, I gave you little snapshots of what I was going to do. Hallelujah. And God says I've used all the dark places to develop it. And soon, daughter, soon, soon, soon on the horizon you will see the breakthrough. Soon it will happen, says the Lord. You have struggled. You have, it's been a strain. It's been a heaviness. Sometimes you even leave my house and you wonder, God, God, when, when? But the Lord says, I'm developing. You can't see it, but I'm working behind the curtain and soon I'm going to snatch the curtain open and the light's going to come and you're going to see it. that I was developing it the whole time when you couldn't see it while it was in the dark. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord told me to tell you, he said, I'm going to give you favor. I've heard your prayers and I'm going to give you favor where you're not even qualified. know what that's about, but the Lord says, I've heard your prayer, and I've seen what's been going on, and I've seen what they've done, and, and God says, I'm going to give you favor. I'm going to give you favor, and you need to be qualified for the favor that you're going to receive. Some's going to look at you and say, well, hi. God says, when they do in the future, tell them me. Tell them about me, says Lord. It was Jesus. Give me the glory. Thank you. Hallelujah. There's a restitution cover. The tables are going to turn. Glory to God. They shouldn't have been doing that. It's been to backfire all up in the Hallelujah. I thank y'all. What are you talking about? Have a lot of That's why I'm talking about it. Hallelujah. Somebody shouting, talking about stuff they don't know. That's why you're talking about it. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen, Lord. I've had people. I remember years ago, I was in a revival on the pastor was telling me on Monday we started the Bible on Sunday and he was telling me Monday about everybody in this church I had to stop him I said you need to take me back to the motel right now that's right amen Lord he said why did I feed you I said you, 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 you breathe in the Holy Ghost I said because if I got to come here and preach and get all the information from you about everybody that's right. Come on. That I've come here to preach the word of the Lord to, but then you don't need me to be preaching. You need to be preaching yourself. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. I said it because we don't want information. We want expression. If God wants to show something, show us. We don't. Amen. Praise God. God be the Lord. Amen. I'm feeling like Jacob right now. You feel like <laughs> when we leave, the sun's going to be coming up. <laughs> 